Good day. Once again, welcome to Bite Sized Essentials. Be sure to like, forward our videos, and subscribe to us. Choose receive all notifications so you won't miss any updates. Today, we embark on a journey through the structured and precise world of punctuation in the English language. These seemingly minor symbols are, in fact, the very sinews that give structure to our sentences, clarity to our communication, and nuance to our narratives. Let us begin with the period. The period marks the full stop, the end of a declarative sentence or statement. For example, she went to the store. It is also used in abbreviations such as doctor for doctor or US for United States. Moving on, we encounter the comma, a mark of separation. It organizes items in a series, apples, oranges, bananas, and separates clauses in a sentence. Consider the sentence, while I was eating, the cat scratched at the door. The comma provides a pause, ensuring the sentence is easily understood. The question mark transforms the sentence into an inquiry. Are you going to the store? Without this simple curve and dot, the nature of the sentence would be lost, and its intent unclear. The exclamation mark injects a sentence with emotion or emphasis. Watch out, it screams or whispers. I can't believe you did that. It is the mark of excitement, surprise, or urgency. The colon announces what is to follow, a list, a quote, or an explanation. It prepares the reader for expansion or elaboration. There are three rules, never be late, always be prepared, and never question the teacher. The semicolonness is the subtle connector. It links two independent but related clauses. She loves to read. Her brother prefers movies. It suggests a closer relationship between the clauses than a period would. The apostrophe wears two hats. It shows possession, the dog's leash. It also helps in forming contractions, can't for cannot, where it stands in for the omitted no. Quotation marks. Highlights spoken words or direct quotations within a text. She said, I'll be there soon. They can also indicate titles of short works or parts of a larger whole. Single quotation marks are used for a quote within a quote. He told me, she said, hurry up. Parentheses are the whisperers of punctuation, adding information that is supplementary but not essential. He moved to New York where his sister lives last year. The hyphen is the uniter joining words or parts of words. Mother-in-law, re-enter. It clarifies and connects. The dash, particularly the M dash, introduces a break or a pause stronger than a comma. The best fruits, mangoes, strawberries, and peaches are also the messiest to eat. The un dash often denotes ranges, read pages 10, 20. An ellipsis trails off into silence or indicates omitted material. Well, I thought I did the right thing, but I guess I was wrong. Brackets, insert clarifications or corrections within a quote. He, the CEO, was not pleased with the results. The slash often signifies alternatives or choices. Each guest must bring his, her own dish. An asterisk directs the reader to a footnote for additional information. She has won multiple awards. At the bottom, you might find, including the Pulitzer Prize. Lastly, the ampersand and is shorthand for and, often used in titles, Barnes and Noble. In conclusion, punctuation marks are not merely ornaments of writing. They are indispensable tools that convey the rhythms of our thoughts, the pauses in our speech, and the depth of our emotions. They enable us to express complexity, subtlety, and precision in written language. As we journey through the landscape of English communication, let us wield these tools with the respect and understanding they deserve. Thank you. Thank you for visiting Bite Sized Essentials. Remember to like, forward our videos, and subscribe to us. And do choose receive all notifications so you won't miss any updates.